Hi, this is Jack. Um, this is the Fanuzi coil powering, uh, coupled with Juni Lee uh, coil, powering a 30 watt fluorescent. And we have uh, the 800 turn Juni Lee coil. Uh, it's being surrounded by the Fanuzi coil, which is uh, a new geometry that uh, Fanuzi came up with on the Roden coil site. You can check it out. And a couple of interesting things here. It has a lot of high voltage all over, and the Fanuzi coil itself puts out a couple hundred volts um, on its secondary winding. The winding that surrounds the coil, you can see that. Um, and also, there's a lot of high voltage in the immediate periphery of this thing. So also, on the base, I have an aluminum plate, um, an insulator, just some um, uh, clear plastic and then a copper plate on the bottom and that puts out about four tenths of a volt, five tenths of a volt, something like that. Um, but I wanted to give you a shot of this um, Fanuzi coil which is five winds or about um, oh gosh, thirty five times it's um, not that much copper on there. It's a number 26 wire, whereas the um, Juni Lee coil is number 28 wire. But it, it works pretty good. It doesn't use a whole lot of current. Probably, I don't know, 150, 200 MA or so. Lights up the fluorescent pretty good uh, without drawing too much more uh, current, as you can see. Put the bulb in and out, 15 volts. 14 volts. Actually, for some odd reason, the, the voltage from the brick goes up. It seems to use less current when the fluorescent is in there. So I don't know about that. <laughs> anyway, this is a quick update. Wanted to show you Mr. Fanuzi, and um, thanks for watching. Bye.